Over here, you have the foyer, which is an entryway and my closet office. It's a nice space for me. I wanted a cocoon feeling space, like a, almost like a cave, but a dreamy cave where I can get away from all the kids and just close the door and be by myself and in my own thoughts. Um, so this is, has worked out really well. And it matches the wallpaper that's out in the foyer. It's House of Hackney Florica. It's really, I love it. I love their wallpaper. The colors are so bold. I like that it's dark. I like that the, the foyer and the entryway is kind of dark and it opens up into this really light, beautiful room. Because this area is dim anyway, so I kind of leaned into that moody feeling. And I, I just, I love this wallpaper. So I had it also put here. When I walk in the house, first things first, I love to kick off my shoes. This little brass settee is from Facebook Marketplace and I just recovered the seat, but it makes a great staging area for bags and shoes and hats, gloves, scarves, like just to sit down, get yourself sorted um, before entering the rest of the space. This is our entryway. It was completely white when we first moved in. I wanted this to be just a very dramatic space when you walk right in because I want people to be just kind of wowed as soon as they walk in the door. So I wanted this very like rich, dramatic color from you know the bottom of the wall to the ceiling. The floors, they're the same like parquet flooring that is in the rest of the apartment and it was just in really, really bad shape. When we walk on them, Josh has gotten splinters. Little, little pieces, pieces. would stick to your bare feet. And yeah. You'd step it's... and you'd have a, a big chunk of wood on, on the bottom of your foot. But also, since we're having a baby, we need it to be safe. So we put down this peel and stick tile that worked so nicely. I love like being able to define a space and using this different tiling really helps do that. Before we go into the bathroom, this is a little moment. So this is at the end of the hallway and I placed a mirror here, a pencil cactus because, you know, we love our plants and just a little marble orb. This wallpaper is actually traditional wallpaper. It's actually from CB2. So as you can see, I have a, a good mix of peel and stick and traditional wallpaper in my home. But I did this moment here because if not, it just would have been a dead moment. And I think any space in your home that you can create a moment, create a moment. Like this is like the perfect selfie moment or the perfect cameraman moment. <laughs> this is my little hallway, emphasis on little. It's kind of its own little area, so I wanted to have some fun with it. I added that DIY trash can light, and before that, it was another one of my fabric wallpaper projects, but this time I put it up on the ceiling. It kind of looks like a tapestry. I adhered it to a little cardboard template, so it was a lot easier to wallpaper this template and then hang that up on the wall. But the wallpaper paired with the pendant light is just this really fun moment to look up to in this really small space. So I knew obviously I wanted to go into this apartment with a neutral color scheme, but I was also very fortunate to take a piece of decor from my grandparents from the 60s. It was actually the clothing store logo for a shop that they had where Betsy Johnson actually got her start. And that I feel like informed practically every design decision. And here it got me really excited about just carrying black and white through the entire space down to this runner, which goes into the kitchen that it almost seems like they were part of the same collection, crazy enough. When it came to this entryway, I think not a ton of thought was put into it, if I'm being honest. I love these vases. They actually hold the ashes of my ancestors. No, I'm just kidding. They're from Overstock and I just thought they were cute. Of course, having a coat rack because I'm talking about my love for entertaining, as well as this full length mirror. It's the first thing you see when you get home and it's the first thing you see when you leave. So you can do a little outfit check. Yikes, she's not looking the best today. The fact that it's at the end of the hallway, it opens up the space because it, you know, obviously shows the reflection down the hall and it brings and casts a light into this area. And this could potentially be the darkest spot of my entire apartment because it's, I think, other than the bathroom, the only space that has no windows whatsoever. And this little entry nook over here, again, just a place to offer extra storage. I just keep a little tray for my wallet, my sunglasses, my AirPods, and then what used to be filled with 
COVID test, and I think actually still is. <laughs> I've also used for just leftover electronics and uh, gift bags and wrapping paper, things that really don't have a home in the rest of the apartment. So on this side of the entryway, I originally had a bench here that just wasn't super functional. And so I ended up using one of these, um, two of these actually just unfinished wooden cabinets that are from Ikea. And I had some leftover black paint. It's been really, really great for storage. I recently just totally repainted this hallway and made these curvy lines. My husband calls it the river hallway. Um, but I think of it more as like an ocean hallway. So this is my entryway. It's the smallest and lowest entryway you'll ever find in Paris, I think. And that's why I decided actually to paint it this charcoal gray, because I learned about color blocking. And it's true that it does make this space feel separate from the rest of the apartments and really creates this entryway feeling. I really like is actually the floor. It was a really cheap towel that was already in the space, so I painted it. I just cut a box of kinders. I just put it this way on the floor, trying to properly align it with the lines. Then taped the outline this way, took it off with the tape still on the outline, painted the middle, and that's it. I was quite lazy. I didn't want to paint the kitchen too, because I figured I would put a rug there. So if you want to look at how it looked before, you just have to pull the rug.